So now we're going to move to part two, which is the advanced questions, which we're going to do what we're going to do 7.2.2, then we're going to do the whole of 7.3, right? So below is going to be a quiz of the questions that fall under this section, right? That which is advanced questions. And also, if I find like there's an interesting question, is that one of the questions here might be also be in the quiz. So meaning if you finish this video and you do the advanced section, you might find a similar question that looks like 7.2.2 and also 7.3. And one more thing again is that if you want to purchase the course that covers everything, every single thing that you need to know for finance, it's going to be linked down below in the description and it's only 120 once off, right? So with that said, now let's do 7.7.2.2, 7 .2, right? So I'm going to read the whole question. Then we're going to move to 7.2.2. So it says, and needs 64,000 for a hard date. He started to save for a fixed amount of his salary at the rate of 0.5% compounded monthly, right? At the end of each month for 10 years. Then the first question was what? We need to calculate the monthly payment, right? So to calculate the monthly payment, we pay, we calculated it in part one, which our answer was 340 and 18 cents, right? Then part two, it says if Andinde has stopped his uh, payments at the end of eight years, what would be his total at the end of 10 years? So what happens if we need to basically visualize the situation, right? Is that this is going to be the timeline, right? And the timeline starts from what? It starts from T0 till T10, right? So that is the period that Andine needed to pay his payments. But Andine stops paying here. So he stops paying at T8, right? So what happens is that in this process here, these monthly payments, right? These monthly payments. So meaning since there is monthly payment and this is an investment, we're going to use FX, right? But is that since he stops and leaves the money to grow for the rest of the period, is that here the money grows what compounded, right? The money doesn't just sit there and not get any interest. It does get the interest, right? So the interest is that it's going to use the compound interest and the compound interest is going to be what? It's going to be this formula, right? But what is P? The, the money that is compounded is going to be what? It's going to be this one, which is going to be here. So here is going to be Fx, right? Then you're going to take this Fx, then you're going to compound it. So if that's the case, we know the fact that our P is going to be replaced by Fx, right? Just like this. Which is now the formula. I hope that makes sense, right? So with that said, is that we know what is the formula for fx. We know the fact that the formula for fx is equal to what? Is equals to x. Then this is going to be 1 plus i divided by m to the power n multiplied by m, right? Minus 1. And this whole thing is divided by i divided by m, right? So we know that. So now from here, we're going to substitute this fx by this whole formula because it's the same thing, right? So we know the fact that now a is going to be equals to what? And I'm going to put in a square bracket. Let's do this. Let's do this so that you guys are not confused. I'll highlight it. So now the slight is, uh, let's go up. So it's going to be the same as x. Then this is going to be 1 plus i divided by m. And this is going to be n multiplied by m minus 1. And this is going to be i divided by m, right? Then this whole thing, remember, it's multiplied by what? It's multiplied by this. So this is going to be multiplied by 1 plus i divided by m, right? To the power y to the power n multiplied by m. But the n here and the n here is not the same. So the n here, let's call it n1, and here let's call it n2, right? And you'll see why, right? So for the first year, if we had to fill in the information, we know the fact that here x 
is the monthly installment, which is the one that we calculated previously, which is going to be what? 340,18. Let's check. It's 340,18. Then we know the fact that I, right? I is going to be equals to what? It's going to be the interest, which is going to be exactly the interest that we used here, which is going to be 0, 0,085, right? Same interest. Then our N changes. Our N1 is what? The monthly installment is made within a period of eight years. So our N1 is going to be eight, right? Because that's the period of the monthly installment. Then our M is going to be the same, which is going to be 12, right? So that's sorted. Then now we need what? We need our N2. The money is compounded in a period of what? The remaining time which is a period of two years, right? If you say 10 minus eight is gonna give you two. So it's gonna be compounded at the period of two years. So now we have all the information and now let's substitute. So when we substitute, this is what we're gonna get, right? So it's gonna be open bracket, it's gonna be one plus this is 0, 0, 0.085 divided by what? Divided by 12, so the power in one is eight multiplied by what? Multiplied by 12 minus one. And this is going to be zero comma zero eight five. And this is going to be divided by 12, right? And this whole thing is going to be multiplied by the second part, which has N2, which is going to be one plus. Then this is going to be zero comma zero eight five divided by 12. And this is to the power what? N2 is 2 years multiplied by 12, right? Pass it into the calculator. You're going to find that your A is equals to what? It's going to be equals to 55,135,69. So that's how you calculate it, right? So I just want to emphasize this. Remember the fact that we know the fact that if X, you're going to take the amount that you have, the one with the investment, then you're going to compound it because of this no longer monthly installment. And that is replaced by this. Do you see? This fx is the same as that. So that's where we get the other formula. I hope that makes sense. This fx, we take it because we have stopped the monthly installment. Then we take that amount and we compound it for the remaining years while the investment does not have any installment, which is going to be compounded. I watch you call this monthly. I hope that makes sense. So that's how you would calculate this question. So now we're going to do 7.3.1. It says Matri took out a loan of 40,000 at an interest of 10,4% per compounded monthly rise. Then he says she repays the loan at the end of, at the end of the month um, and every month for the next 15 years, right? Then it says his monthly, uh, what you call this? He, her monthly installment is equal to what? is equals to 4,396,83. So that's what we know, right? So we know the fact that this is loan, meaning we're going to use PV, right? So we're just dealing with the situation where we're going to be using PV, right? So we know it's a loan, so we're going to be using the situation where we're dealing with PV, right? So with that, it says calculate the outstanding balance. So with outstanding balance, there is two methods, right? I'm going to use one method then in my course, there's going to be another method. You understanding both method makes it easier when you get to the test to know which one to use, right? So I'm going to use the method where we use the, uh, what you call is the present value formula, which is, this is the present value, which is going to be PV is equal to what? Is equals to X. Then it's going to be 1 minus, then it's going to be 1 plus I divided by M. Then this is going to be minus N multiplied by them, right? And this whole thing is going to be divided by what? It's going to be divided by I divided by M. Yeah. Right? So that's that. So if you're using this PV to find N is that they say the fact that calculate the outstanding balance after nine years, right? So after, very important, it says after nine years, right? So you know the fact that here N is going to be equals to what? The period of the loan is 15 years. Right after nine years, you're going to subtract the nine, which is you're going to have left with six years. That is after nine years. So your N is going to be six, right? 
then your M here is going to be what? It's going to be compounded monthly. So it's going to be divided by 12, right? Then your I here is going to be what? It's going to be 10,4 divided by 100, which is going to be equals to 0, 0,104, right? So that's going to be your interest. And then your X, which is your monthly installment, the total sister's value, which is going to be 4,000. 396,83. So that is your monthly installment, right? Hope that makes sense. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to calculate, we're going to calculate the outstanding balance after what? After nine years. So let's do that. So let's substitute everything that we have. So it's going to be PV is equals to, then there's going to be 4,396, Three, and then this is going to be one minus, and this is going to be one plus, then it's going to be 0, 0,104 divided by 12. Then this is going to be minus 6 multiplied by 12. And this whole thing is going to be divided by what? 0, 0,104 divided by 12. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to basically pass this into the calculator therefore your outstanding balance here's going to be this amount which is going to be 234,775 cents so this is how you would find the outstanding balance as i said the fact that there is going to be method two but the method two is going to be in the course and also there's going to be in the course there's going to be a similar question where you can test out whether you use method two or method one it goes by your patterns, right? So yeah, so method two will be in the course, right? I hope that makes sense. So now we're done with that. Now let's move on to seven. Let me just go to another page because we're going to need a lot of space. We're going to go to seven comma, three comma, seven point three point two, right? It says how much interest did she pay over a period of nine years? So this is very, very important. And I'll just give you guys the formula for interest paid, right? So interest paid is equals to this formula. So interest paid is equals to the following. It's equals to the total, total amount, right? Total amount paid over and because I want to make the formula genetic, I'm going to say over N years, right? Because it could be N years. Then this is going to be subtracted by the principal. Principal paid, right? Over N years. Hope that makes sense, right? So now we need to calculate the first portion, which is total which is this total amount. Paid. Over. N. Yes. So how do we calculate it? It's going to be equals to the monthly installment, right? Multiplied by the number of years, multiplied by M, which is M is where you find it by this compounded monthly quotidian and all that, right? So that's the formula. So since that's the formula, we know that the monthly installment is what is 4,396,83. The number of years is over what? It's over a period of what? Over a period of nine years. So it's going to be multiplied by what? Multiplied by nine. Then this is going to be multiplied by compounded monthly. So it's going to be 12, right? So pass that into the calculator. You're going to get it as being what? Is going to be this amount, which is 474,857,67, right? So that's that. So that's the first portion. Then the second part is going to be what? It's going to be, uh, what you call the second part is going to be this one, right? Which is going to be the principal paid over. N years. So with this one, you're going to need what? You're going to need your outstanding balance, right? So you're going to take the loan amount, 
The formula is the loan amount, right? Minus the outstanding balance. So you're going to need the previous question to basically answer this, right? What is the loan amount? Remember that the loan amount was 400,000. So the loan amount was 400,000. Then what was our principal amount? This was our principal amount. So our principal amount is equals to what? Was equals to, let me just go up. It was equals to this one. So our principal amount is equals to the following, which is going to be, let me just go up 2000. 2300 let's go up four then it's going to be seven 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 zero then comma 75 right so now when you subtract those two you're going to get your value as thing what so when you subtract the two you're going to say four hundred thousand minus two three four right then you're going to say seven seven zero comma seven five then you're going to get your answer as being what as being 165,000 165,000 29 comma 25 cents right so that's what you're going to get to your principal paid over which got us over this amount therefore your interest paid which is what we're looking for, is going to be equals to this amount, right? So it's going to be 174, 8,507,67 minus this one, which is 165, 229,25, right? Subtract the two, so it's going to be 474, then it's going to be 857.67, Minus one six five two two nine point two five right? Then you can get your answer as being what three hundred and six eight six two six two eight comma four two. Then this is going to be your final amount of this. Question. So this is the interest paid over a period of nine years. I hope that makes sense.